today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can actually download and use a NuGet package in your .NET project. If you're a beginner or you're getting started with using NuGet for the first time, make sure you go watch the first video in this series, where I give an overview of what NuGet is and why it's important for .NET development. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code as an example today. So let's start with taking a look at our central registry, NuGet.org. NuGet has a ton of features that make it super simple to search for and find the perfect package for you. But today, let's take a look with a specific use case in mind. So let's say that I am a beginner .NET developer using .NET Framework, and I am looking for a package to help me serialize a JSON string. First, I'm going to start out by typing JSON into the search bar, and we get a ton of results. So let's say that after lots of hard thought and consulting some of my experienced colleagues, I have decided that newtonsoft.json is the perfect package for me. As you can see here, it has a ton of downloads and it was updated super recently. So it seems like it's pretty trustworthy. Now I'm going to give a quick look at the project that we're working on. I have a object that is of type account that I want to convert into a JSON string. So using newtonsoft.json, that makes this super simple. So going back to nougat.org, as we can see in the center of the screen, there's a lot of information about how you can download this package using different tooling. So since I'm using .NET CLI, I'm going to go ahead and copy these instructions and paste them right into the terminal and click Enter. And there you have it. As you can see from the CS project file, newtonsoft.json is now included in our project. So super simple, right? Now it's installed. But now how do I use it? So after reviewing some documentation on newtonsoft.json, um, I found an example of how you can actually serialize an object using newtonsoft.json. So here's that example. This is from the official newtonsoft.json documentation. And after reviewing this web page, I found right here is the actual syntax for how you can serialize a string using JSON. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that and paste it into my program.cs file. Perfect. Also, to make sure our program.cs file knows that we're using newtonsoft.json, I'm going to go ahead and include a line at the top here that says using and newtonsoft.json. This makes sure our project knows that this file is using newtonsoft.json to accomplish a task. Um, once I run the file, I'll want to make sure that everything was done correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and add a console.write line and have it print my JSON string, just so that I can be sure that everything's working correctly. So after a couple of saves, I'm going to go ahead and .NET build to build the project. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and type .NET run to actually run the project. And with that, we should see some output here that is the result of my console.write line. And it shows my finalized, serialized JSON string. So there you have it. There is an example of how you can download and use a NuGet package in your project. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll join us in the next video in this series where I will give a little bit more information about how you can actually build and publish your own NuGet package to contribute to the NuGet community. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.